If you need a really good guard build in this year's game, don't worry, I got y'all boys. I will be giving you three of the best guard builds in NBA 2K23. Starting off at number one, we have the six foot one build that I'm gonna be showing you. Number two, we got the six foot six build I'm gonna be showing you. Number three, we have the six foot nine demigod point guard build. If you have been needing a guard that is gonna be unstoppable, you have found the right video for you. All right, let's get right into this banger. I love y'all, let's go. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Cardi and in today's video I'm gonna be showing y'all the top three best guard builds in this game All right, if you have not already drop a like on this video right now Subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my streams or any of my uploads Shout out to the a Cardi Noti gang comment if you're a new sub so I can say thank you We're on the road to a hundred thousand subscribers and let's get right into the first build Okay, the first build is gonna be the 6-1 build so you can go playing guard and then handing this doesn't matter jersey number doesn't matter i'm just gonna take my jersey number down to zero all right now start off the height that you need to go is six one like i said six one and six seven wingspan okay and then for our weight we go all the way down and keep it at uh you could keep it at 188 if you wanted to but i would recommend uh taking it down but you know you don't even need it to be honest uh because you're not gonna upgrade those stats that high anyways Okay, so I go six foot one, 188, six foot seven on the wingspan. Now, this build is a pretty well rounded build. I would say it has very good shooting, very good play making, but the, the, the dunking is pretty good and the defense is pretty good. It's pretty well rounded, I would say. You know, for a six one build, this is more of like a threes build, something like that. But all right, so for your driving dunk, you're gonna wanna put that up to an 85. Move your driving dunk all the way to an 85. And I don't even think you have to touch your layup after that actually that's not true you got to move your layup up to 474 all right just like that so we get 15 all right 15 there we're gonna move our shooting up to a 92 on the three-point shot all right and then we're gonna have an 80 on the mid-range shot which gives us 25 badges and then our free throw i think we got to go 70 that's just what we're gonna end up being able to use with our leftover points now our pass accuracy is gonna be 75 for the lebron passing style that's the reason we have a 75 pass accuracy our ball handle goes up to a 92 for all of the good dribble moves okay you only need a 92 ball handle speed with ball i would max that out okay so max that out you could put that at a 96 if you wanted to but for me i'm gonna put out a 90 okay i'm gonna put out a 90 because i don't think you need to max it out this year i don't think it's that important all right now for our physicals our perimeter defense is going to go all the way up to an 86 so you will be able to play defense on this build you will be able to hold your own you will be just fine your steel is going to go up to a 78 all right move your steel up to a 78 you get interceptor on silver and all of that good stuff all right now for our physicals we only get 87 speed on this build acceleration we get at 85 um strength we keep the same vertical we put that up to a 75 so we get contact dunks and our stamina we move that up to a 95 okay so move that up to a 95 now we have a couple things we could do here we could try to get more finishing we could try to get more shooting we try to get more playmaking we try to get more defense all right it's really up to you all right we could really go like that right there and be really really well rounded okay so we'd have 20 25 25 and 16 but that's not what i want to do okay so i'm probably going to drop that back down to 78 probably i might go 79 just for the extra badge and then i'm going to take this and put this on my driving dunk which will give me you know limitless takeoff on goal then i'm going to put my driving layup all the way up to an 80 that way i can get um all the good layup packages in the game i have limitless rain or limitless takeoff on goal which is very good um I, I literally, this build can literally do everything i have decent defense the defense isn't terrible i know people are going to be like yo your interior defense sucks but you're six one bro you should just be guarding guards you shouldn't be worried about you know trying to be out here guarding centers it's not going to work anyways so i think for that reason we have a good vertical we have good stamina the speed is fine bro i promise you the people that are tweaking about the speed you're just fine you have a 90 speed with ball that's what matters all right your speed with ball is what matters not your speed you have a 90 speed with ball that's that's perfectly fine okay i've been playing with a six one and the threes the whole year and i promise you when i tell you since this games came out bro it has been perfectly fine you will be just fine with a 90 speed with ball uh, you'll be dominating. I, you'll literally be dominating on the threes. It will be very hard to guard you when you're a shooter. Um, I think this build's pretty, pretty well-rounded. I think that this is one of, if not the best build in the game for small guards. All right, now let's go to the takeover. We have a couple more attributes we got to put on. I'm just going to put on on my close shot. Let's see if I can get any badges. I can't even get any badges with that. So we're going to try to go to the defense. Put it on defensive rebound, see if we can get 19. All right, we can't get 19. Maybe we'll take this down one. Oh, that's not good. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get 19, to be honest. I'm trying, but, you know, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. Let's try. All right, yeah, no. All right, we got some areas. We take that off. All right. Uh, we only can put it on free throw. It's really awkward. I don't know, man. All right, so, yeah, we're just going to put it on free throw. I, I give up. I give up. I actually give up. All right, yep, 99 overall. Let's continue. All right, now, for our takeovers, although when you get max badges, you will get Mamba Mentality, so that will be very good for you. I would go with Anchor Breaking Shots or Limitless Range. Limitless Range, you can literally shoot from anywhere. With that Agent 3s and that Limitless Range you already get, bro, shooting from anywhere will be so broken. All right, so I'm probably going to go Anchor Breaking Shots with Limitless Range. That's probably what I would go with. Um, and then my my player build is complete. Yes, sir. Let's see. What we have built man this for the first best guard build in this game, man. Let's see. We got the six one Demi guy. Let's see what we made. Let's see what we made, man. Shades of Mahamawid Abdul Ralph, Damian Lillard, Darius Garland. We have built a shot creator. I I think this build is gonna be very very good. I've been playing with this build with my boy Chad, you know, for a long time since the game has come out, and I think this build is gonna be one of the, if not the best short guard build in the game for threes and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, let's get straight into the 6-6. Six, six. I hope y'all like the 6-1. You know, comment which one y'all are going to make. I want to know which one y'all are going to be making in this game. All right, let's go. Yo, boys, I just realized that I'm an idiot and I didn't go over the badges for this build. That is completely on me. So look at the badge you get for this build. All right, you get posterizer on silver, which is very, very good. You'll be able to core this badge. But I would end up coring limitless takeoff since it costs the most. Seven badge points. You get limitless takeoff on gold. Posterizer on silver and slithery. So what I would do is I'd probably put my four on finishing, okay? Because you don't need it anywhere else. Maybe defense, but I'd probably put my four on finishing, okay? So the reason for this is when you core limitless takeoff, you have 18, okay? Right now, you can only get posterizer on silver, and then you can't even get slithery on bronze. So I put the four on stand or on my... Um, on my finishing that way i can get 22 badges total then i have six and six here and then that's 10 that are in tier one tier two and then six and 12 and then this is literally gonna be my core badge all right so let's go on to the shooting agent threes is so good all these badges are so good limitless range so good agent three is so good that's the reason we got all these badges so that way we can have all these on all right you're gonna need them i promise you. you're only gonna be able to get two of them or three of them so you got to core one of them so i'd recommend coring like dead eye or limitless range or agent threes i wouldn't really worry about blinders i don't really think it's that good this year i haven't really you know been able to see if it's good or not but i don't think it's that good and the same thing with our playmaking you know we got to core the ones that are the most expensive so killer combos or clamp breakers the one we're going to core and then for our defense, we have a lot of badges available, okay? All right, now we're going to be moving on to the six foot six point guard. All right, the weight's going to be 200 pounds. The wingspan is going to be seven foot three. The body shape doesn't matter, all right? So let's press continue here. All right, for all of our physicals, okay, we're going to just do our physicals first so we can see what we're going to end up being able to get. So our physicals, we're going to get a 90 speed. We actually get better speed on this build than we do on the six foot one, okay? I don't really see the point. And putting it up this high, but I know a lot of people like it at this high. All right, so we're going to go vertical at 80. We're going to go, our stamina is going to go all the way up to a 93. And then those are our physicals, okay? For our defense and all that stuff, it's going to end up being very, very solid. All right, so let's go ahead to the driving dunk first. Driving dunk is going to go all the way up to an 86 for that limitless takeoff. Again, we want that badge on gold every single time. Our driving layup is going to go up to an 87. I right, our 87 driving layup, bro, you're going to be going crazy. All right. Move the close shot up to a 75, just like that. And then we get 18 badges, just like so. Now, for our three-point shot, we move that up to an 86 on the three-point shot, just like this. Move it on up, move it on up, move it on up. Bow. Then, for our mid-range shot, we move that up to an 81. Free throw, we leave it the same. Pass accuracy, we move that up to a 70, so you have good pass accuracy. Move that up to a 70. Ball handle goes up to an 86. You get really good drip moves with this. Uh, speed with ball, you move that up all the way to an 80. I think this is 80. 80 speed with ball, but I'd recommend probably taking down your speed. Take down your speed. All right, take down your speed. I'm going to redo this because this I made this a day one, and I'd rather do this. All right, so we're going to try something real quick, okay? We're going to go 80 on the perimeter defense. I'm pretty sure that's all you need. Let's see. Where, where do you get clamp silver? All right, 79 on the perimeter defense, and then our steel is going to go up to an 83. Move that up to an 83. Just like that. I think we can move up. Yeah, all, right, all right, so we get one extra badge there. All right, so I would probably recommend... It's going up because I don't really we don't need this vertical to be a set an 80 anymore. We need it to at 75. We don't need an 80 acceleration. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move. I'm gonna see if I can get a 92 ball handle. Okay, 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 okay. It's gonna be very hard. Um, I'm just gonna keep the ball handle at 86 how it was, but my speed of ball has to go up. 88 speed of ball now. 
All right, now we're gonna put the rest. Let's see what we can get. Okay, clamps. Okay, you need 86 perimeter defense for clamps on silver. Let's see if we can get that. We can't get that. Um, we can move our. All right, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna help us any. Okay, we're just gonna stick with the 13 we have on defense already. Um, I think we'll be good with that right there. Let's drop this down. We're gonna drop that that steel down. 80 and 80. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move this up to a 75, just like that, so we get the LeBron. We get the LeBron passing stats. All right, we're gonna move our close shot up, try to get 18 on this. We're not, probably not gonna be able to get it. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to get it, but it's all good. All right, this is the badges that we're gonna end up rocking with right here. I'm gonna move my strength up and just leave it. All right, so there we go. Now I'm gonna put my free throw up and let's see the final stats on this build. All right, we got 17, 22, 23, and 12. Although we don't have the best stats on defense, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. All right, this build, you don't need to put on plus four onto the finishing, okay? You don't need to. I would rather, you know, as the seasons go on, get the extra badge points and put them on the finishing. The plus four offer, it needs to go on defense, okay? If you don't put it on defense, you're not going to be able to get your tier three badges, okay? The reason I say this is I would go with Interceptor on bronze and then I'd have Clamps on bronze, okay? If you put on your plus three here and then you probably put plus one on finishing, that way you have 15 at least because you need, you need 10 between tier one and tier two, so you have five left over. Five for bronze Clamps, five for bronze Interceptor, and then as you get more badges throughout the seasons, put them on finishing and defense, okay? That's what I would do. And I think that's the best way to do this. All right, now look at our playmaking badges. We get all of the good stats. We get quick first step on Hall of Fame. We get killer combos, all these tier three badges on silver, which is very, very good. Tier three or 23 badges is good enough for that. Uh, we got hyper drive on gold, very, very good. Our pass accuracy is not gonna be too slow. Uh, 75 pass accuracy is what you need. You need the LeBron James passing style. That is what you need. 75 ball handle for the LeBron James passing style. That is the best passing style in the game. That is what will speed up your passes. Do not use fundamental. Fundamental is literally, it makes your passes slower, bro. It makes your pass so much slower. Do not use the fundamental passing style, bro. It's terrible. All right, your three-point shot is going to be good enough for silver. Uh, silver limitless range. Silver agent threes. All very, both very good badges. Both very, very good badges. You get contact dunks and good layup. I, I don't see that you need any, anywhere else anything. I, I wouldn't put up anything different about this build, to be honest. I'll leave it just like this. Maybe even put that up to an 82 and then leave it. All right, now let's put on a standing dunk. Let's see if we can do anything there when we move down our standing dunk. All right, let's see what we can do now with this. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We might even get some more badges. All right, so we only get an 84 perimeter defense. We might have to put all this on defensive rebounding. I'm not going to lie. Okay, that didn't give us anything. That's not a good look, bro. I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm trying to fix this build from day one, but I just don't see what I can do. I really don't. I really don't even see what I could do. All right, we get 24 now. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, I don't see. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything, man. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything more than this. Primer defense, steal. All right, we'll just do this right here. We'll lock this in. All right, we'll lock this in right here. This is good enough. There we go. There we go. 17, 22, 24, and 12. 6 foot 6, 200 pounds, 73 wingspan. Contact dunks and good. All the good layup animations. 86 three point shot and all the good shooting badges. Uh, 86 ball handled and 88 speed ball. You'll be very fast. You'll be faster than some of the guards out here. Pretty solid defense, you know. 6 foot 6. This build will be able to play defense on twos, bro. You have a long ass wingspan. You have good enough defense, bro. 80 perimeter defense and 80 steel is good enough to play defense, all right? You're not going to have a block and stay in front of people and guard them. But I promise you, you'll be fine. I right, speed and acceleration, both very good. I promise you, 85 is enough. If you played this game, you know the gameplay is slow as it is. So a fast speed is not going to make you a demigod. All right, now, for our takeovers, I'm probably going to have finishing moves, number one, and then limitless range. Limitless range is just the best, bro. I can shoot from anywhere with this limitless range, and that is the reason I'm going to be using it all throughout this year. So go ahead and use limitless range, and let's see what we have built, man. My player build complete. Let's see, man. Imagine I made like a, one of those replica builds on accident. It was like Giannis or some crazy shit. But let's see. Kenny the Jet Smith, De'Aaron Fox, and Drew Holiday are my shades of. And you have built a three-level shot creator. Another very common build this year, okay? Um, I like the name, though. Three-level shot creator. This build will be very, very, very good. It just depends on how tall you want to be. 6'1", 6'6", six, 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 or 6'9". You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you all the options. Now, let's get straight into the 6'9". All right, boys, for our last build and my personal favorite build, man. This build is six foot nine, weight is 187, wingspan is seven foot four. This build is insane. 
It's actually crazy. Okay, so our driving dunk, let's just start off there, is a 93. You get every single driving dunk in this game. Oh my goodness, you're gonna be you're gonna be flying, bro. I cannot wait to get this build to a 99 overall. It's just gonna be so fun. All right, driving layup is an 80. Our close shot goes up to a 76. Okay, move that all the way up to a 76, and then our standing dunk is going to be a 75, just like that. All right. 19 finishing badges very very good three-point shot we're gonna move up to an 85 i 85 to get that silver limitless range i right, now our mid range is gonna go up to a 76 that's all i need i'm gonna be honest all i need you can move it up too because we're gonna end up having extra badges left over our ball handle goes up to an 87 we got all the good dribble moves in the game for this build our speed with ball goes up to a max at a 76 our pass accuracy is gonna go all the way up to a 75 because that's all you need you only need a 75 pass accuracy you could go up to 78 to in order to get that 21st badge and that's probably what i'm gonna do just for the sake of this video all right perimeter defense goes up to an 86 are right, you gonna be very very well rounded on defense go up to an 86 on your perimeter defense look at this steel goes up to an 80 our block goes up to an 87 oh my goodness you're gonna be pinning shit bro block goes up to an 87 move that all the way on up yep and then our interior defense stays at a 68 off a of rebound our defensive rebound is gonna go all the way up to a 65 just like this Let's move it on up, move it on up. There we go, 65. Speed is going to be at an 80. That's all we need, I promise you. Acceleration, 81. That's all we need, I promise you. Strength is going to stay at a 43. Vertical is going to go up to an 82. Put everything else on stamina, and let's see how much stamina we got. 95 on the stamina. Look at these stats. Oh, my goodness, man. We get every single driving dunk in the game, every single good layup package in the game. We get... Pretty much the best shooting that we could possibly get, okay? You're not going to find another ISO build with better shooting than this build. This is truth. So, what we have, we already have better stats than you in every other category, and now we have better shooting than you. It's clipped. Um, you're going to be able to shoot with this, bro. I promise. I can green with literally an 83, so 85-3 should be a lot easier, to be honest. For me, at least. I don't know about y'all. But for me, if you don't know how to shoot, watch my shooting tips video, okay? Now, playmaking. I 78 pass accuracy for that 21st... Uh, playmaking badge will be very very big all right but we have an 87 ball handle and a 76 viewer ball 68 interior defense which is solid you're 6 9 you'll be fine um 86 perimeter defense is a good lock build 80 on the steel 87 on the block 80 speed 81 acceleration this build can just do it all bro at 19 21 21 and a fat 18 so probably what i would do is i'd probably go um for your plus four i'll probably go two on the defense and two on the finishing so that way you'd be 21 21 21 20 very very well-rounded build bro one of the best builds in the game if not the best build in the game right here man all right let's go on to our takeover now for a takeover what do we always do finish and moves and limitless range i'm gonna do that every single time man every single time because there's really no point to do anything else you know it's just the two best takeovers in the game so i'm gonna go with these two takeovers let's see what we have built what do y'all think we have built, man? We have built the ISO demon, the point forward, the point center, the point power forward, the point guard, the point god. Penny Hardaway, Lonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball, very, very good players. Let's see who we have. The inside out score, just a beast, man. A straight up beast. Now, those were the top three guard builds in NBA 2K23. If this video helped you out, let me know down in the comments below. Drop a like if you have not already. Subscribe if you are new. And turn on post notifications. Now, I like to say some things at the end of my videos. I want to say, you know, keep chasing your dreams. I never give up on anything you want to do. It's a process, you know. People are going to hate. People are going to, you know, tell you you can't do it. But if you truly believe you can do something, you truly want to do something, then chase it. Don't conform and have a boring life forever, you know. Do what makes you happy, all right. You only get one shot at this whole life thing. So, you know, do what you want to do. And that's all that matters, all right. Nobody else's opinion about you matters. Just what you think about yourself, all right. Love y'all, boys. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.